God bless you. God bless you, family. I just wanted to give you a quick update on Bob Carey. You know, God is still moving. Like I said, it was a miracle where he was unconscious and he had a breathing apparatus. It was breathing for him. And um, within less than 24 hours, with, I believe, through corporate prayer and just the love and grace of God, he his eyes popped open. And he told his wife that he was in pain. Uh, Bob Carey is a huge man. His hands, his hands, I thought I had big hands. His hands are like twice my size. Um, so for him to say he was in pain is, is, you know, is something significant. So let's pray that God would comfort him and that would, his pain would subside. Uh, uh, the good news is that he is up. Amen. He's no longer uh, unconscious. He is conscious and he's no longer in ICU. He's in a stabilized unit in ortho. And I was able to visit him today and uh, I was able to share with him the word of God. And I snuck him some, I snuck him one taco and he, it was a huge taco and he, he, he ate okay, you know, but we're praying for his, uh, his, um, his appetite to come back amen and uh, I was just discussing with him you know about the faith that we have to continue to keep in God amen and it says in Romans 35 <clears throat> Romans chapter 8 35 through 39 what shall we say uh, who shall separate us from the love of God that is in Christ shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sore as it is risen for thy sake we are killed all the day long we are counted as sheep unto slaughter but no none of these things in all things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us for we should be persuaded amen because Paul says, I am persuaded that neither life, nor death, nor nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. So through our faith, come on somebody, through our faith, we're going to believe that although Bob's going through distress and tribulation and persecution and peril, he is more than a conqueror. Come on, somebody, you need to put your hand on your heart and say that. For God's sake, he will show himself mighty in his life, and he'll show himself mighty in your life as well. The Bible goes on to say that he is the loving God and our Lord. And in Hebrews 4, 14 through 16, it says, Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed in the heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our profession of faith. Come on, somebody. For we have not a high preach which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. But yet in all things, he was tempted like us, but without sin. Come on, somebody. He passed the test with flying colors and he fulfilled all the requirements of the law and the prophets come on somebody that's why he's our high priest and it says since he did that let us therefore come boldly to his throne of grace to obtain mercy and find grace to help in our times of need see that's powerful we get so discombobulated and so far away from the door that I talked about yesterday in John chapter 10. We get so far away from Jesus, who is the door that we can enter into the kingdom through him. Come on, somebody. We get so distracted that we lose our profession of faith and we do not try to seek God and and present ourselves boldly in his throne of grace to obtain mercy sometimes you just have to swallow your pride and cry out with all your heart and get into the presence of god which is a throne of grace to obtain mercy come on somebody and we're praying for that grace and that mercy for bob carey right now that god would re resurrect and regenerate all the cells in his body and his DNA would be supernaturally
filled with healing virtue from the throne of grace to obtain mercy in Jesus name and if you have people that are in critical condition or you're suffering sickness and disease we rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus we plead the blood of Jesus right now and we thank you God that you are our healer you're Jehovah Rapha the God that healeth us amen you are Jehovah Shama you're our provider you're our prince of peace I'm sorry hallelujah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that you hold us in our in your hand and you said no man shall snatch you out of our hand out of your hands amen so we're believing God for a miracle divine restoration a hundred percent for Bob Carey and I just wanted to to give you the good news he's out of the ICU but he's not out of the woods we're just believing for complete restoration complete restoration pain relief supernatural turnaround in his body in his mind in his memory in his thoughts in his soul and his spirit will enjoy resurrection power amen and it'll be a testimony of the goodness and the greatness of God in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name amen thanks again um, if you feel like uh, this is helping you we, I just ask you to like and subscribe so we can get the word out the good encouragement of the good news of Jesus Christ to more people and so we can be a blessing uh, please leave a comment if there's a prayer request that we could join hands and believe God for your miracle as well I thank I thank you again and I'm just praying that you have a fantastic and a very good Friday. In Jesus' name. Love you guys. God bless you. Talk to you soon.